Mega Mechatronics. Breadboard. Welcome back to Mega Mechatronics. We're doing another breadboard video on how to program an AT Tiny. Uh, you can always pause the video right here, or you can refer to the uh, data sheet or use your favorite search engine to find out the pinouts for whatever version you are using. So, in order to program an AT Tiny, we're going to need a breadboard and an Arduino. I'm showing a Nano here, or you can use an Uno or a Dumilinov, uh, but we're going to be using the Nano today. And of course, we're going to need an AT Tiny, and they come in these nice little packages from DigiKey. Um, we're going to need some jumper leads for the breadboard. Um, and then we'll need an LED and a resistor, 150 to uh, 300 ohm maybe. Uh, the COM cable, of course, to program the Arduino. And any safety gear uh, to prevent static discharges. So for the Uno or the Du Milano, we're going to need to use a 10 UF, a 10 UF capacitor between the reset and the ground. Uh, so reset to ground. So let's get started here. Uh, and this is the IT Tiny, and we're going to go ahead and uh, bend these down. They should be about perpendicular. Um, the ones I got were a little splayed out. Uh, this just makes it easier to put into the breadboard. And note the orientation of the dot on top. And we'll use that to reference how we wire the unit up. So we're going to need to grab our jumper leads now and start wiring this up. So um, putting the ground on there, you see I have the Arduino going to that uh, power bus on the side. And then uh, you could do this any way you want. That's the fun part. You can jumper this however you like. You just got to jumper it to the correct pins. So I'm installing the 5 volt uh, lead there. Okay, now we will grab our f four jumpers here. And um, I got these in a little ribbon. I um, believe on Amazon. These uh, seem like they're pretty good quality and you can tear tear them off and they stick together. So you see I have black, gray, and white. So black is on pin 10, digital 10, white is on digital 11, uh, gray is on 12, and purple is on 13. So if we reference our little chart there we should be uh, white, gray, and purple on the top side there. So I'm just looking through and we'll go ahead and stick that in there. So white, gray, and purple. And then we'll throw our uh, black digital 10 over there. And uh, we need to install our heartbeat. So the default pin for the heartbeat is uh, number 9. So I'm putting our uh, resistor in there and our LED and then we'll go ahead and ground that so again, the default pin for the LED is number 9. We'll go ahead and plug this in, and then we'll get on to the computer. So you're going to need to download the ATtiny library so that the uh, sketch Arduino sketchbook can um, program it. So find the high-low website and download the ATtiny master. And you're going to want to save that in the Arduino wherever you install that folder click on the hardware folder inside of the Arduino uh, install and then just unzip it there and you see that folder AT Tiny. so put that full AT Tiny folder there and restart the uh, program the Arduino uh, sketchbook and it will show up in your list of boards so the first thing we need to do is program the Arduino. We're not doing the, anything with the AT Tiny. So we need to go into the examples, and it's already built in, Arduino ISP. You don't have to do anything. If you um, jumpered it like uh, we went over with those pins, you don't have to touch anything. So you just open that example on, under the examples, Arduino ISP, and then all we have to do is verify uh, the board, the port, and the programmer. Uh, this is a good habit to always make sure that this is set up correctly, especially when you're going to be switching back and forth. So choose your correct 
uh, COM port and then make sure the programmer is on the default which uh, that should be the default right here and then we'll go ahead and upload this so we have a little real-time picture-in-picture down there and if this is successful we should get a high-rate heartbeat uh, fading with the LED and you see that right there that means the program is the Arduino is ready to go and ready to program uh, the AT Tiny so that's a good sign so let's go ahead and program the AT Tiny we are going to pick um, the blink example from the analog and we'll just go to blink we are going to have to change the uh, LED pin so we'll just delete the one and we'll go to LED pin 3 to make it easy and uh, now we have to change uh, the programmer so this is very important watch this down to the Arduino as ISP so the Arduino as the AT tiny programmer and then you see our library is here for the AT tiny we'll go up here and choose uh, I chose the 1 megahertz there and then we'll verify that at the bottom and again uh, we will just upload this and we got our little RXTX blinky lights going and done uploading um, however we aren't 100 percent sure so we're gonna take the heartbeat light we don't need that anymore and we'll go plug that into the analog 3 in the AT tiny and there we go we got our blink so that's sort of verifying that everything is successful um, and just for fun um let's let's do the uh let's play with the digital output pulse width output so we'll go to the examples again and we'll go to analog uh no go back to the analog there you go and then we will pick the fading program and again we need to update the pin location um, in this case we'll use uh, pin zero that's the pulse width output pin of the AT tiny and we will go ahead and just verify the code if you want and then upload that um, and again this is a good habit just to go through and make sure everything is set up especially when you're going back and forth um, you always want to make sure you don't you don't want to corrupt anything so we are going to upload that again and we'll see if the LED well the LED's off because we are still on the analog uh, 3 pin so we'll go ahead and move that over to 0 and our light is fading on and off <clears throat> well that does it for our video and um, if you like what you saw please like the video and if you want to see more of these types of videos um, please subscribe. Thank you.